Hello and uh, welcome to Ballistics on the uh, Commodore 64. And uh, well, this came out originally on the Amiga. Uh, was developed by Reflections, the guys who did the uh, Shadow of the Beast games. And uh, you can see converted by DMA Design to the, uh, the old 64. And uh, you can play one or two player modes. Uh, I'm just going to play one player modes. Let's get started. And uh, if you've well, you probably have to be at least my age to remember this, but uh, it's a rip-off of, of, of the uh, ga uh, game Crossfire. Uh, and if you've never played that or heard of it, uh, it used to take place, it used to, it used to have like a, a big mat you put on the floor. Um, and uh, you would have a gun that fired metal balls, and uh, your opponent would have a gun. And the aim of the game is to... Uh, also get the puck uh, into your opponent's goal mouth, uh, so that's pretty much the same game. Uh, especially, it's not if you play it in two-player mode, uh, it's, uh, it is the same game. Uh. Uh, in one-player mode, oh, you're, you're basically playing against gravity. So I'm just trying to get it up the up the uh, the board into the goal mouth, and there's no there's no opponent playing uh, against me. I think it's game over if if he gets it in your goal mouth. Uh. Or, if, sorry, if you let it get in the goal mouth. Now, obviously, the, uh, the real cross... Oh! The, the real crossfire game, uh, you know, would never be allowed uh, these days. Health and safety wouldn't let you fire all these little ball bearings. Because, uh, obviously, back then, you would just fire it at people's faces. Uh, <laughs> you know, you'd never... Uh, obviously, health and safety wouldn't allow it these days. Uh, but back then, you know, kids were apparently a bit tougher and could survive these sort of things. Uh, Because I don't remember anybody ever getting a seriously hurt playing Crossfire, but uh... So, that's pretty much the game, I mean, it's quite well done, but uh... You know, certainly in one player mode, uh... Okay, I know there's... you get bored after about 10 minutes, uh... It's one of these games that really has to be played with two players to get any... Any enjoyment from it, really, I think, uh... Which is a shame because it's, it's quite well, well done, quite well done, I think. But uh, get in there. Yeah, the graphics are quite smart. Sound effects are a bit basic, but they're okay. Um, the game's also single loads. So there's not much variety in the graphics. Uh, But as a one-player modes, yeah, you get bored pretty quickly. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll give this, uh, I'll give it four out of ten. And if you've, and if you've got another player to play it with uh, in two-player mode, uh, you know, it's prob probably give it, uh, probably give it six out of ten. But uh, uh, as a one-player experience, yeah, it's not up to much. So uh, four out of ten. Uh, see you in the next video.